Hey, what's going on guys? Me Kova, welcome back to some more transfer gossip. If you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to get all gossip as I post videos, and obviously as well for FIFA content if you're interested in that. So we're starting off anyway with Courtois. He's apparently planning to move to Real Madrid at the end of this season. It's well known that he really loved it in Spain when he was with Atletico Madrid. And could he go to their rivals? Of course he can if he gets paid a hell of a lot of money to do so. He's apparently interested in that move away. You know, there's been games where he's been a bit iffy for Chelsea, but overall, he's always been that standout amazing keeper that we all know him as. And it wouldn't surprise me if Real Madrid came in with a massive offer for him. You know, he could be a very, very good long-term keeper for Real Madrid. Next up is another Chelsea keeper. It's Begovic. Chelsea are rejecting a £10 million offer from Bournemouth for Begovic. It's kind of a smart move by Bournemouth to go in for someone like Begovic. He's got that Premier League experience. He's a really, really good keeper and he wouldn't cost a huge amount of money. Really smart move on their part, but unfortunately it hasn't got the deal done, so they may have to offer more money to get Begovic from Chelsea. And to be honest, Begovic should probably go anyway to get first-team football as well. Next up is Jose Fonte. He is uh, now gone to West Ham. They agreed an £8 million fee. He's passed his medical, and I believe that is a done deal. He has confirmed, got his move away from Southampton to go to West Ham, which is a bit interest interesting unless he's getting a lot more money. I don't really see why he'd leave to go to what well, at the moment is a, is a worse club, if that makes sense, than lower down. I don't understand why. I don't know why he wants to leave Southampton. I don't get it, but maybe it's just because he wants more years on his contract. I'm not too sure, but either way, he has got his move. Next up is Semedo. He is a right-back for Benfica. Doing really, really well this season. Benfica are absolutely flying. Chelsea have joined Manchester United in the race for the Benfica right-back. They see him as their new right-wing-back as a replacement for Victor Moses, who obviously isn't a right-back. He's just kind of filling in at the moment. Next up is Emre Chan. Juventus are considering a move for Chan, who is only 23, so he has got a lot of, you know years left in him basically to get better and better they see him as kind of like a Kadira a replacement because Kadira at the moment is just injured way too much Juventus want another big powerful centre mid um, to join like the likes of Marquisio and stuff like that at centre mid and JC Chan has fit in the bill and it's a long term option as well Jackie Elk is next up he's been told he can leave the right offer comes in Koeman's being absolutely ruthless at Everton. Jagiel is a long-time servant at Everton, and he just said, yeah, you can go. Not bothered. You can go if you can find the right move. And he's allowing them to go, and it looks like Sunderland are expressing an interest. Obviously, that's kind of the one that everyone's going to look at. He may go to link up with David Moyes again. Then we move on to an Arsenal target. They are set to go head-to-head -head with Everton for Gazal from uh, Lyon. I think he's a, he's a really good player. And it's kind of what both these clubs need. Someone like who can play just behind the striker, and but also can play out wide, so there's versatility in him. I don't know how much it would cost to get him from Leon. They are known to be quite stingy in terms of like the prices and what they want. They can be really pl play hardball with that. Gazelle could leave because they just signed to pay as well, so that would be an interesting one. Next up is Perisic. Obviously, long, long time link to the move away. So many clubs are going to be after Perisic. It's unreal. It's really, really hotted up right now as Chelsea and Liverpool have joined Manchester United in the race for Perisic. I think he's a cracking player and he would be a welcome addition to the Premier League. Mauro Zarati is one player who may be heading back to the Premier League. He's added spells at West Ham, Birmingham, and I think one other in the Prem. But Watford have agreed a 2.3 million deal for the ex-West Ham striker from Fiorentina, where he isn't getting games. And I think, you know what, he'll do all right if he can get his head down and play well. Benteke's next up. He's linked the shock move to Chelsea. They see Benteke as a potential cost of replacement should he leave. It's a bit of a strange one considering that he has already, well kind of failed at a big club albeit it wasn't really the type of club for him he has kind of failed at a bigger move so it's an interesting one that they're still going to go in for him and finally we end on Igalo he is the last one on the list Watford tell West Brom to bid either anything higher than 17 million because that's the bid that they've just rejected apparently for Igalo they want more than 17 million I think they had a big offer from Ch a Chinese club so it doesn't really surprise me on that one so there you go guys lots of in a Premier League moves, actually, Jagiel could potentially go with Sunderland. Fonte's made the move to West Ham, and Bournemouth being really clever with Begovic. But guys, make sure you do drop a like, and I shall see you in the next one.